Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we have a smart home security system. I'm sure if you've seen this, this is Amazon, this is a ring. This is a do-it-yourself home security system. It does offer um, optional monitoring, which I don't know nothing about at the moment. We're going to do an unboxing of this particular kit. This is a little unique. This is not from Amazon. This kit is actually from Costco. However, we're going to go over the features and the, the, all the options that this comes with, all the cool doodads, and we're going to check it out, and we're going to do some installation. If you notice on the top here, it does come with a camera. This kit does come with a camera, which is actually really cool. The other Amazon kits do not. So that's what makes this kit unique. You can get an extra keypad. I will have all the options to add extra stuff. Like my house, I need, I have 11 windows. It only has eight window or like in doors and stuff like that. So I want to, I need to get extra sensors for the doors and windows and stuff like that. So I need extra uh, parts to make this a full kit. Uh, right now, I only have enough for eight devices for this. So let's do an unboxing of this. We open it up, and this is what we get. Cardboard boxes. Instructions. Smoke listener. Really small ring user guide. Ring alarm manual. Uh, this is extensive, so this is something to definitely read. All right, so we put that aside. We have... So this is the base station, connect your sensors and community control. So to make sure that you have good wireless signal, everything gets connected to this. This is where I put the hub. It's, you know, mounted here, ethernet, of course, and hardwired. And it also has a battery backup. So if this gets unplugged, it'll stay running for a very, very long time. And everything is wireless. Uh, here's the keypad. Very nice keypad. And this is USB rechargeable. All right, so this is the primary keypad, and I have two of them. One on the front door, one on the back door. I did buy a second one. <laughs> it's so freaking expensive. They're 50 bucks, but just in case I need to go in the back, I can. So, you hit the code and then you hit. Exit delay started. You can hear the other delay and you go out, you go in. This is when you're leaving the house. So let me disable it. And then you hit this. Disarmed. Uh, it's really relatively simple. You put the code in. If you're home, you press this one. If you're away, you press this one. If you want to disable it, you press this one. You can pre-program for emergency, fire, and police. This is a light sensor. So if you move, it'll this whole thing will light up uh, when it's dark. It's kind of nice. You can turn off that feature for power saving mode. Uh, this is, is obviously rechargeable. See how it just came on? Because my hand covered the sensor. So that's how it lights up. It's rechargeable. It's a nice kit. See it? I have it dim for the LED. This can go much, much brighter. We have smaller boxes here. That's what's in here. This looks like the smoke and CO listener. Oh, this has a battery inside of it. All right, so this uses a lithium battery, CR123A. This is where the listener is for the smoke detector smoke detector needs to be able to hear this so this is the listener so when the smoke detector goes off this is being detected and this sends the sound the alert to the system which tells it that it's actually being smoke <laughs> which is kind of clever so that's why it's called the listener and it needs to be six inches away from a uh, maximum six inches away from your current smoke alarm one of these bad designs of these boxes here. What's this thing? 
Oh, here's the camera. This is where I have the ring camera. I can move this to any place I want. Normally I have it in the living room on the mantel, but I moved it in the kitchen temporarily so I can have it here. And it'll detect when there's motion and it'll, it'll, it'll alert me the same as the outside camera. It does exactly the same thing. It also uses the ring battery, the same battery for the ring, for the ring doorbell. Pretty cool. I like it so far. Hard to believe that these sensors are that expensive. For 40 bucks for two of these sensors, for the, for the window or door or whatever. Ow, holy shit. They gotta do something different about these boxes. It shouldn't be that hard to... Um... So this is the front door. And uh, we'll open it up and you'll hear it. All right, so I have it set up for the ding dong sound for the front door and the back door as well. And this is the back door. And you can see that this is actually on an angle and it still works. You can go up to two inches away for the separation and this is working perfectly fine. So if I wanted to, I can have a separate sound effect for the rear door, so I know the difference. But at least I know that a door is being opened. So I'm curious what kind of battery is actually inside of these things. So we're going to take this apart. So this is peel and stick, and you can screw it down. Should be exciting to do all this. Oh, here's a motion detector. Here's a motion detector. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So this is like for the corner. I can stick this up in the corner someplace and motion detect. And it's got peel and stick. So this is kind of cool. Hopefully this is easy to come apart and... Oh, that's good. So we don't put it too high on the corner. So you can actually take it off for the battery. So let me give you an example. So you don't want to put this bad... What the hell? You don't want to put this right up in the corner. So if you want to take it off, you can push up. Oh, it uses two AA batteries. That's awesome. That is where I have the motion sensor. Um, it is to on. I'm not sure if it's detecting me. I'm sure it is because it is, it is on. But it only gets enabled when we go in the away mode. You can have it set up so you don't have to have it go on when you're home so you can walk around your house and not worry about the motion sensor being triggered. I wish other things were like that. That's, that's great. It even has a switch on the back so it knows not to... So I like that. So it automatically turns back on. So this will not work when it's off. There is a, a, a plastic notch or little nipple here that hits a switch a micro switch so when you put this back down on this device it turns it back on again so you can screw this in there are screw holes here that you can screw it in and or you could um, and or you could uh, double-sided tape it if you want to do that I may actually screw it in because I'm going to permanently do an installation of this but I like the fact that it uses two AA batteries that's a home run and what do we have here? What's this last box? Range extender. This is a range extender. And that is where I put the, uh, the ring range extender is there. So it covers so where the hub is and where this is. It's a perfect spot for it for this home. So that's, that's different. I wasn't expecting to have a range extender. So it's a nice little kit. <laughs> My, someone's at my front door. Whatever, you know what? I need an alarm system in this house. Um, I feel safe. I have video surveillance outside. I have it all over the place. I have wireless cameras. I got everything. Hardwired cameras. I'm like pretty much protected in this house. But the only thing I don't have is an alarm system. And that is the only thing separating me from everybody else. And, and I got ADT going up my ass like crazy. I got slumbers going up my ass like crazy trying to give me something. Uh, this is a do-it-yourself. It's 
This is like the, a win-win. You pay for monitoring and you're done. Why would you want anything else? This is probably the cheapest solution, do-it-yourself project ever, and I recommend it, and I didn't even set it up yet. This is actually pretty cool. So this is what it looks like when I add all the devices. So since I already added the hub to the system, it knows the password for communication. So I already did the pad. So we continue. So let's see ring motion sensor. So we need to put the motion sensor up now. Because if it's so intuitive, like the ring camera on the front door, which, by the way, I have it hardwired to my doorbell, um, I don't have to charge it anymore. It's permanently installed, ready to go. It's always got power. <laughs> it's like the best thing ever. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.